the end of Birkat Mazon, we have um, there's four blessings. Birkat Mazon. Uh, the first three are from the Torah. Like if the language specifically is from the Torah, it's another idea. But the themes are from the Torah, and it says that Moshe uh, Moshe wrote the first bracha about Zanat Hakol, um, Yeshua the second, um, David the third, and then the fourth one is rabbinic origin, uh, and it was written. Um, this is a miracle that happened in the time of the Haruge Beitar, those who died uh, in an incident with Beitar. Um, now, at, right after you finish the fourth blessing, there are a lot of um, requests that are mentioned. Harachaman. You have many of them. Harachaman, 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 Harachaman. And the question is, what is their origin? Like, where did that come from? It doesn't say in the Gemara anything about that. So that kind of piqued my interest a little bit. So I'll just share with you. Uh, some of what I found. Uh, they started um, already from the time of the Geonim, it seems, from the 9th century in the Sidur Amram Gaon. It starts to be mentioned that people are adding on extra supplications. Um, and the question, and it's also brought in the in the tour, in the, um, in the time of the tour, which is like the 13th, uh, uh, 14th century. Um, and, uh, and the and so these are, these were added on over the generations. And the question, and the reason is because the uh, Pisgah Chuva says is that the table is a time, is like considered our, our our altar. It's a time of like we're being, um, it's a time of atonement. Like you get to have altar uh, atonement from the altar. So when you're on, when you're involved in that, um, it's a good time to ask for things that you need. And I saw in the Benish uh, Benish Chai's uh, uh, response, uh, somebody asked him if he could ask. God for um, like to help him repay his debts in the Birkat Amazon. He says that's fine. You can add on requests that you need at the end because uh, it's a it's an opportune time. Um, so some some um, t- some questions or topics that were are discussed around this is um, if you're allowed to add on these extra supplications, doesn't it create a break between Birkat Amazon that the four blessings and um, if you're going to make Borei Priya Gafen at the end? Sometimes people bench on on a cup many communities do and, and shabbos um so if you're making a bracha at the end of harachamans all that list of supplications it seems like you're having a break between the four blessings then you have the supplications then you have break break often um so uh the answer that's offered in the rishonim is they say like we have a lot of cases like this you have a little bit of a break um in a brit milah you make break break often and then you have a shaky that should be better and you have and you have you give the name and then you drink the wine um, so that's a, a break. Another one that's brought um, is that Birkat Oreach, blessing the guest um, at somebody's home, uh, appears in the Gemara, and that was after uh, the fourth blessing. And so we see that you can add on, uh, you can add on even before uh, Bar Priya Gafen, um, and that wouldn't be an issue. Another topic that's raised is maybe really maybe on Shabbos we shouldn't add all these supplications. We have the four. The Gemara Talmud says you have four blessings. Um, on Shabbos, you shouldn't add on because you're not really supposed to ask for things on Shabbos. You're not supposed to have supplications because it makes you sad to be thinking about what you're lacking. So maybe we should just say the first four blessings and stop and, uh, and then go on our way. And so uh, the truth is some do do this. Um, I just heard um, in a shear that Rav Herschel Schechter apparently does this. Uh, stops at Lelami Echasrenu. There's a... There's a it said that the Gra used to do this, the Gona Vilna. Um, although in one of his in Ma, in Maserav, it says that he um, did. He said three Harachamans on Shabbat. Anyway, um, but the answer is that we do it anyway, and there's a lot of cases where we ask Rachamim and different instances in, in our prayers. And so, um, uh, those who say it definitely, um, it's a good thing. It's fine. great that they're doing it. Um, those who don't say it, they have upon whom uh, to rely. One more thing to think about. To, it's discussed around this is um let's say you need uh, to interrupt make make an interruption it's much better to have an interruption uh not during the four blessings but during harachaman if somebody says something to you or something like that you need to answer it's not part of the original four blessings and their supplication so you can make a break uh in between but it's ideal obviously to say it and say it with intention um, one more thing is uh peace kechivas brings if you're um if you're rushing out you need to go and you can't say that harachamans he says um, if you need to skip them, uh, at least you should say "Oseh Shalom Bimur Mav" um, at the end. I'm not saying that that not giving like a, you know, like a, a way out here. Obviously, you should say it. I'll be like, "All right, I'm going to say just say "Oseh uh, Shalom." We're good. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm um, just saying that that also connects to the fact that it's not from the four original blessings that are mentioned in the Talmud.